Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Morton Power here. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a powerful day. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing another best class setup video. But this time we're going to be using a gun that I don't think a lot of people are using right now. And that is the Grease Gun. This gun was not the best gun in the beta, but I believe it is one of the better guns and most improved guns of the Call of Duty World War II full release. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on into it. Right, guys to start out this video I just want to talk about the grease gun a little bit the grease gun um it has an overall six damage um an overall six range um and an eight accuracy so this gun's gonna be really good in your um short range to kind of close mid-range engages maybe a little bit um farther mid-ranges uh depending upon um, what attachments you use and we'll get into that in a minute But I do want to say that this gun being the first gun that you use in the game is a pretty good gun to start out with So we're gonna go and get into the division that I use and that is going to be the infantry division Now the infantry division what it does is it allows us to have additional attachments uh, level three you get extra magazines, which it's always always good to have extra magazines so that you're not running out of bullets and then at level four you move significantly faster while aiming down sights now that is going to act as stock um as we've seen in previous call of duties so that actually helps out really really well i don't have it unlocked yet but that is why i use uh the infantry division okay guys so next up is the basic training which is your perk system for Call of Duty World War II, and you only get to choose one, which kind of sucks. But the good thing about these perks is some of, most of them are uh, are layered. They have multiple different things that are encompassing these basic trainings. So we're gonna go over here to the uh, primed basic training, which the first part of it helps us out when we get to our attachments, and that's adding an additional primary attachment to your gun, so that when you're running the infantry division and this stack together. You get four attachments or if you're just running another division you get three attachments uh for your gun now the best part about this um attack or this basic training is the second part and it says and flinch less when shot now flinch in call of duty is awful when you get shot your gun shoots up way in the air and flinch is awful when you're trying to um go into a back and forth gunfight and you're getting shot your enemy is getting shot so using primed will allow you to be flint or allow you to flinch less when you're shot so that you can keep your aim on your enemy's body and not up in the air all right guys so we're gonna uh, go into the attachments now i'm using four attachments now that i use the infantry division and prime those giving me two extra attachments so we're gonna go ahead and uh, use four to make the most out of this gun and make it the best possible gun you can use now the attachments that i used to start out with is the reflex sight just so that I can see enemies down at longer ranges even though you're not gonna be shooting at longer ranges, you get a better clear view of your enemies when you're aiming down sights the next attachment that we're gonna use is the grip now grip is standard for most of these guns because a lot of these submachine guns have crazy um, recoil patterns but this one has a moderate recoil so I use the grip just to contain it a little bit just so that I can steady my aim a little bit when I'm aiming down sights and just have the ability to lock on my target the best way that I can now the next attachment the third attachment we're gonna use is advanced rifling now in the intro I said you're not gonna want to use this at longer ranges but I use the advanced rifling just for increased damage at mid ranges so that when I'm shooting enemies at mid ranges I'm actually not using as many bullets so that I can keep my magazines lo as loaded as I can and taking down enemies as quickly as I can because the quicker you can take down an enemy the better and the best way you'll end up ending gunfights now the last attachment that we're going to be using today is going to be the extended mag now I use extended mag I was toying with this last attachment you could actually go without using two attachments and either changing up your basic training or changing up your division but I went for extended mags just because um, when you're going on longer gunfights streaks you're gonna need as many bullets and as many magazines as you can that's why I'm using um, an extended mag just for 
the longevity of your streaks. Say you're going for your higher kill streaks and you don't want to actually have to pick up a gun or you don't want to uh, have to reload in a gunfight. You're going to have um, as many bullets as you possibly can so that you can um, make the most of your streaks. Okay, and the last part of this best class setup is going to be the secondaries and lethals. Now, um, the secondaries I don't use as much, but I've been trying to go around and find out what the best secondary would be. And for the handguns, I believe the 1911 pistol is going to be your best bet. It actually has an 8 damage, a 6 range, and a 6 accuracy. So those are actually average to pretty good um skills in the gun so that you're if you're down your primary weapon you're able to use your your secondary your sidearm as a viable option to get a kill or if you're running out of um bullets and you don't want to reload you can just switch quickly to your uh handgun and get a kill now i also i normally don't put attachments on it but i decided to put a quick draw on it just so that you can draw it up a little quicker um, just so that you can get that first shot off because with it being a tap fire uh, pistol you're gonna need to get the shots off as quick as possible now the lethal that I'm using this is pretty much the same lethal that I use all the time and that is the mk2 fragmentation grenade which what I like to do is I just like to if I know there's an enemy sitting in a corner in a window or something I'll cook it enough just so that when you throw it in there it'll explode in their face and get a kill and it just drives out corner campers which corner camping in Call of Duty World War 2 is a huge huge problem uh, which I'm gonna do a video on um, later on but that's one way that you can try to ensure that there's not gonna be anybody camping in the room that you're in alright guys and that's gonna do it for the video if you enjoyed leave a like let me know in the comment section how you guys fared with this best class setup or if you guys have another best class setup or another way that you like to run this gun um, let me know in the comment section um, what you like to prefer or uh, what your thoughts are on this gun uh, and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button guys because once we hit 100 subscribers we're gonna be starting a giveaway I don't know what it's going to be just yet, but I'll make an announcement video on that soon enough. But if you're new, hit that subscribe button, guys. And as always, we'll catch y'all on the next video.